<laughs> you can have this. No, um, it, it's okay if not. Um, Appreciate I make YouTube videos. Would it be okay? Could I interview? If you don't want your face on camera and stuff, I understand. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, <clears throat> I understand. He my husband. You, Actually, he does YouTube videos. Or he's right over here. You think he'll let me interview him? Yeah. If not, I understand. I'm not trying to make you guys uncomfortable. You and you can have the 20 either way. What? Thank you. What were you saying? I said you did Bonnie's. What is that? I said, did you do Bonnie's? Bonnie's. Yeah, Bonnie. Okay, I, never mind. You didn't do that. Nah. Babe. Babe. Want to do a YouTube video? Sorry, I don't want to put you on camera if you don't want to. I, I didn't Told know. You, yeah. Okay, you're okay with it? Can I set my trust? You can stay seated. I'll just... Okay. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice a little. I was like uh, at a... We were listening to live music, so I'm not sick. I'm not like, yeah. so I just want to make sure you're in an angle. I'll just crouch down next to you. Thank you. I yeah, no problem. So, I just basically wanted to ask, like, what kind of were you born here in New Jersey? Yeah, I was born in Palmer, New Jersey. So, so okay. So, because I wanted to ask what brought you. <laughs> I wanted to ask what brought you to Atlantic City. You being close by, I guess that just made it more easier to come. When I was a child, my dad used to come out here and take me out to the beach and stuff. Really? I just want to make sure it can hear us. Grandmother bring me out here. My dad bring me out here. So this was just a common vacation spot for you? Common ground. No, that makes sense. And then, so how long have you been out here? I've been this one and all for 15 years. 15 years. Now. How old are you? I'm 33 now. 33, wow. No, I... God bless, and I hope things work out. So what, like, what are your goals, so to say, you know? I'd like to get my wife back together. Um, get my wife to love me back to Florida. Back you want to go to Florida? Um, that's our biggest goal right now. Right now. So Amazing. Get out of New Jersey all together. Is it, like, that's what I was going to ask. Do you think it's, like, more your situation stuck because of the area's not really providing good opportunity? I can understand why that would be hard after doing that much time in jail to get into a normal job or situation. So I don't want to make you uncomfortable. We don't have to talk about your past or what brought you into that situation. But so, how long has it been since you got out? It's been about three years now. Three years, and now, and when you first got out, like, did you move in with family or did you have nobody? I stayed there? with my grandmother at first. Okay, did she pass or something? And, um, I. My grandfather had a, a heart attack and he moved in with her and they kind of kicked me out. Me and my grandfather went off the journey. I'm so sorry to hear that. No, um, it, I guess that's just inevitably what eventually brought you to here, just not having anywhere yeah, to go. Because, and I understand, like, for anybody who's in a situation like you, why you would come to a tourist spot. I mean, that just makes more sense. There's more opportunity. Yeah. But, um, so. I'm just trying to think because I don't want to make you uncomfortable. I'm not trying to make this take too long either. I'll wrap it up soon. Anyway. No, I understand being stuck in this. So she said, do you make YouTube? Do you want to see your channel or anything? I understand. That's my husband. You Actually, he does YouTube videos. Or he's right over here. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I misunderstood her. Maybe she said you were okay with me. I'm all right with it. Um, I've been in a couple of videos. Okay. No. We're in Atlantic City. I don't even know if I'm in frame. I'm just coming a little closer. So we're in Atlantic City. Is there any way, maybe, like, if someone to one were to watch this video, would want to try to give you an opportunity, other than maybe just walking in, hoping to see you? Is there any way they could get a hold of you? Or I'm not saying to put your phone number out here, but I guess. Yeah, just you find me in front of Hard you. Rock Casino. Is this your comments while you stay in the Hard Rock? Yeah, my wife, mainly. We're not sleeping on the boardwalk. No, how are the police? Like, have you been here since summer? Are the um, police? The police don't really bother us much. Um, well, you seem to, you both seem to keep to yourselves a lot, too. Yeah. Um, they harass a lot of the other homeless people. Trouble. That makes sense. And my wife, they were secluded. So, 
So have you had issues with Edgar at home with? Like, yeah, we do. Really? We clack every one of these things. Such a different caliber of version. That makes sense. And it seems like the average home, like, I, I don't mean to say homeless, I'm, I'm not trying to I'm judge anyone. Fine. Okay, We're homeless. Well, it seems like the average homeless person does, or is male, so does it make it harder or scary sometimes? Like It makes it a lot harder for males. I could only imagine. Um, females out here pinpoint it very fast. Um, there's a lot of things. Yeah. I was about to ask if you ever had to protect her in situations. Like, you don't have to go to I've that. I've had to use fight. mace. I've had no, to pull out all that weapon. I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't know how well you can hear, but he had, he said he's allowed to have a sword to protect himself, of course, not to do anything evil, but just to protect himself. That's crazy. I'm sorry to hear that this is, like, I'm sure it can be worse in other places too, but I'm just sorry to hear what you're telling me. And I'll wrap it up. I just hope you do make it to Florida. If anybody watches this, what is your name? My name's Phil. His name's Phil. And uh, his girl didn't want to be on, like, on camera, which I understand. But if you come out and see him, definitely understand his situation. I know people can get judgmental. But he's just looking for help. I mean, everyone in life just needs help. That's why I did give your girlfriend some money. So hopefully um, you get some food or something out of it. And I just I appreciate your time. I'm, I apologize to even bother you. Because I just, I, this is my first time talking to someone like this on a video. I just think that more people, because I, I actually just did a 48 hour challenge in Philadelphia where I did sleep in my car, but I had no money. So I didn't allow myself to spend any money to buy food. And it really, I mean, I always give my leftovers to like homeless anyways, but it really gives me another perspective because there was times where I didn't, I mean, I didn't wear my jewelry or anything, but I would still look dressed nice and people would still just not even look at me when I was asking for help. Yeah. You know, so I can only imagine when you are stuck in a situation where you can't clean yourself up and why people are just being hard for me too when it comes to tattoos. And that tattoos scare people off, which clearly you're a very nice person. Yeah. So that's why, again, anybody who watches this, just because, like you said, they have face tattoos doesn't mean anything. That's just the situation and what where they were at in life at the time. So I just, I do appreciate your time. Thank you. And uh, God bless and I hope everything works out. Have a good one. My name is D Webb. Have a great one. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And all right, let's go find somebody to give this food to. Hey, right, would you like this leftovers? It's some uh, chicken fingers and I think like a donut in that I didn't touch. Oh, here. Yeah, go ahead. I'm Thank sorry. You. My hands are a little full. Best of luck, man. Stay safe. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Would you want some food? It's just leftovers from the hard rock. Hey, stay safe. Best of luck. Hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Oh, I'm behind you. I'm sorry. Would you want some leftover oh, food? Sure. I'm sorry. I mean, I know it's like good leftover, but hey, you have a great one. Stay safe. Best of luck. Yes! Finally got a black. Yes. Finally.